Hey y'all, it's Jimmy here and I want to go over really quickly how to take your charts from looking like something like this, where the colors are ugly, you're not really seeing what you want to see, to something like this where the colors actually match what you want to see and your charts are more cohesive and definitely something that actually aligns with your personal brand. So let's get into it. So actually, we don't really have to do too much inside the actual chart menu so you're just going to leave the color on auto because if you change it to colorful or colored less that's going to automatically update for you and you don't really want that what we're going to do is we're going to go into the actual data that you want to use it doesn't really matter what it is or what it's going to be but you are just going to choose a select property that has the specific color that you want that's it plain and simple so because we chose these select properties these colors will match up to what we want to see right so that pink is a double there and then that yellow is a single value as are the others so in the incorrect one i have my what to show represented by the select property which is this one right here and then here i have my what to show as the select property select color so because of that difference i'm able to choose the specific colors i can also go ahead and change that up for example, if I want orange to be light gray, I can go ahead and see that as well, right? So let's go ahead and apply this to a real database and I'll show you how I would use it with other types of data that are involved here. So this is a database that I have. This is my personal database and I like to use it for um, habit tracking and task tracking mainly. So let me go ahead and show you guys what task tracking and habit tracking looks like on this chart right over here. So let's say I did some of these activities and let's say that I'm just gonna create a sample task here so that I can mark it as complete. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that as complete. So I get a couple of different points over here when I mark tasks as complete. Did that get marked? Yeah. So I have my five points here, I have my 10 points here, and then I have my 30 or my 20 points from actually completing the task. So the way this really works is that whenever I make progress on a task, I go ahead and get five points. And then if I finish a task, I get 20 points. And then any habits that are completed are going to be 10 points. So let me go ahead and move this up here. And I'm going to make it relatively large so that we can see the colors in the way God intended. Okay. I'm gonna make this extra, extra, extra large and we are going to see it for what it is, right? So let's go ahead and explore the data inside this chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the source database and let's see what we're dealing with. So this is a huge database. It has tons of stuff. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new property. Actually, like there's 1990 entries in here. That's crazy. I do purge these, so yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add a new property. I think we can do it here. Okay. So I'm going to choose a select property and then, okay. so I'm going to make this a manual select property and then I'm going to add three different options and I'm going to color them based on what I want. So I'm going to do, okay, let's try, let's do five points, let's do 10 points and then let's do 20 points. Okay, so say these are the properties and we're just going to leave it as select and then in my automation, I'm going to change. This is not the right automation. I'm going to go over to my tasks and reminders automation. Okay, and yes, stop this one okay here i'm going to update this so that select gets set to five save and then we're going to do the same thing here select gets set to 20 and then oh, gets it. and then here we're going to do the same thing where oh this is not relevant. and then we also have one here i believe so instead of showing the points here i want to show select Okay, there's no value. Okay, wait, we need to go update these specific entries. Head back here, open the source database, and we are going to... Okay, and then for this one, since it's 20, we're going to do 20, this one's 5, and then this one is 10. Okay, so let's see what that gets us to. This is really ugly. Wait, what? Goodness. That's disgusting. Oh, okay. Sorry, I did the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. There's our coloring, and then each slice represents points. Come that work? <gasps> oh my good. Okay, it works. No, I didn't expect it to work. Okay, now I'm surprised. Okay, well, I guess it works now. I guess my job here is done. Okay, and now we'll just play around with it, create some more bullshit tasks. Um, I'm going to change this medium. That's good. And then we can just get rid of the label because like it no longer provides us any value. Okay, so I guess we're done. Did not expect it. I did brush my teeth today. 
Good job. Okay, so ideally this would get bigger. Please work. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, so that got bigger and we did it. Okay, so yeah, um, it slightly aligns more with my color theme, I guess. I don't know, I'm not too amused by this. And then the other thing that you can do is if you go inside here, you can easily change these colors, perhaps. So here, click, open, click. Now I want this to be uh, pink instead. And then you have your pink 10 and it's pink now. I don't really like that colorway, but like it does match with the rest of it. Obviously these aren't custom colors because you can't set custom colors, but you know, it's pretty close. So yeah, and that's about it. I think I might, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this newfound power. So uh, yeah, I don't know. maybe I'll choose like different colors and see what looks good. I don't think orange is gonna look, I don't hate it. Maybe the purple is what is causing the issue because this is like a common theme, right? This is like something I've seen on clothing. So it makes sense, yeah. Um, let's make another one of these sample tasks that market has done. Okay. And then it'll just add some more points. There we go. So yeah, that's a 70. That's a 20. And then this is the five point section. 